This is the Dragon Flying Left Rubber Stamp, a cushioned rubber image on a wooden block. And I'm inking it with a dye ink, a dye ink, not a pigment ink because that can smear when you put wax on. If you just puddle the stamp, you can get bubbles like this and they can blur the edges of the stamp. I find if you wipe it a little bit at the end before making the stamp impression, it'll work better. Working onto the encaustic art painting card, this is a sealed card, so when you press the stamp on, it will print perfectly. Ink off the stamp onto the card. But of course it's damp, so we need to dry it, and we can do that using a folded tissue and the heated iron. And that'll just take the excess ink away and dry it ready for use. Clear wax is paramount, it's the key to working over stamped images. Translucent colours, not colours like white or pastels because they'll hide the black stamp, but clean transparent colours with clear wax are the key to good work with rubber stamps. So the clear wax acts to dilute the colours. And as I passed over, I got quite lucky with this sort of sun. So I'm leaving that. I'm going to use the edge of the iron to create some upright marks. The, the edge is quite parallel to the edge of the card, if you notice. The edge of the iron and the edge of the card are parallel. And I'm working along making sort of mountainous or, or castly types of things. And by overlapping the tail of the stamp, as you saw there, it creates depth. It puts the stamp in front of the mountain behind it. Add some more colours and just press, lift, press, lift, wriggle the iron. It's a fantasy image, so what we put there doesn't have to be too realistic. It's just a foreground. So that's the stamped image done. The black absorbs light, so you can't see the colours on top of the stamp. But sometimes it's nice to highlight the edges, and the scribing tool is a great thing for that. It just makes it look as though light is glinting off the edge of the wing, in this case. And by highlighting the tail as it crosses over that castle, it just brings it to the attention of the viewer. It helps to create the depth and the perspective. To put an edge on, press the button at the back of the iron, put the logo of the handle face down and slide the iron in to create the little mini hot plate. Then taking some silver wax, make a puddle, but you could use any colour you like actually. Silver or dark colours are good. And then just push the edge of the card into that wax. Be careful not to touch the bit that you've just done when you pick the card up and turn it around. And as you do this, you give a coating to a millimetre perhaps, or two millimetres. And it just gives a nice finish to the card. Just puts a silver edge around the card. When you're doing this, you can do several at a time actually. Save changing all the time. The Stylus Pro on the low heat setting, the normal working temperature, with a drawing tip, taking silver and making dragonflies, quite pertinent for this image. Some dragonflies are like double decker birds, really, two strokes in each direction to make the wings and then some darker colour for the body and scribbling out like that just to empty the stylus so I can change colours. If there's too much, just get rid of a bit. Small spots make small dragonflies. Fresh supply for the final one. And then scribbling out before taking the colour to put in the bodies. You can use the stylus as a graphics tool to draw anything into the image. Here what I'm doing is enhancing some of that ironwork to create castles, just putting on some spires by flicking up. When you get to the top, just flick. And that makes nice, sharp, clean spires. Filling in, working down. The image could be elaborated more and more. But I'm leaving it here now, just a quick polish the idea of this is to show how to use a rubber stamp. Beautiful shine from the wax. Dragon flying left rubber stamp.